you working there we something? go yeah okay third time's a charm we've tried this three times now. well two times this is our third time welcome i'm laura with rethink junk by laura welcome to thursdays at three ish today we are going to thank you love it um today we're going to start with our customer creations winners katie you're going to have to zoom in because remember how tom always complains about the way i print things because my printer's so bad use tom's printer this week here we go there's our first picture you know they just print the size you tell them to print. No, I tried everything to get it to enlarge. But if you zoom in, I mean, if you can, you see I've it tried good. That. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> this is <laughs> Melanie Gorby. Her shoot, I should have printed more information. Her mother's china cabinet or her grandmother's china cabinet? Are we ready for the after? Dun, 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 dun. And this has nothing to do with size. This also just you really can't see the colors very well. She did a phenomenal job and even put fabric in the back with gunk. Uh -huh. You're bonking Katie in the head with that. Oh. So, can you see the after there? Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. Then we have... Who is that? This is Mel... That's Melanie Gorby. $35 credit. Place an order. Put in the note section that you won Thursdays at 3 and we'll refund $35. Then we have Davina Brazelton. Brazelton. Here's this one. Ready? This is awesome. She did her whole bedroom. There's the fabulous from Tom's Printer Before picture. Oh, you printed it as a picture. You didn't send it at full page. I wasn't going to print it as words. Oh, yeah, you have to yeah, set it at full page. I did set it at full page. Hmm. Didn't get any bigger. Okay, and you're ready, ready for the after? Dun, 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 dun. Bam! Isn't that fabulous? She has a tiny bedroom. Looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because it's a small picture. Oh, because it's a little picture. Come I on, gotcha. These okay. Jokes. She did everything in her bedroom. She even did, there's an armoire piece that she did. That's Isn't that great? Awesome. Before and after? So. Davina, and I'm hoping I'm saying that right, Brazelton, Brazelton, you have a $35 credit because that was phenomenal. Place an order and we will refund $35. So next thing on the agenda is when we were looking at the Q&A page this week, we noticed a lot of people asking about purple. This is right here. I think I got Oh, hey, let's do highs. Are you not doing highs? Uh, I have a bit of fucking Jill has yeah, but, oh, You're a failure. <laughs> we have a hi from Kelly, Cindy. Kelly? Cindy? Alice Erickson. Shell Scott. Amy Roberry. Hey, Amy. And she said you have a cute shirt. Thank you. Lynn Daniel. Hey, Lynn. Deanne Bailey. <gasps> Deanne. Rosa Thompson. Nancy Bradley. I like Deanne. She offered to help me with the wedding. <laughs> you should like her too, Katie. Thank you. John Bryan. Diane Pruitt. Hey, John. Hey, Diane. Uh, Dee Dee St. Peter. Yay! I love all these familiar uh, names. That's so fun. Debbie. Deanne Bailey said great picks. Philip Patterson. Hey, Philip. Okay, so there's some people Miller, watching. That's awesome. Betsy, Kim, and Debbie. Woohoo! Thank you, thank you. Flamingo and Denim. We're focusing on the picture here. You're being oh, dad. Oh, hey, Melanie. Oh, you <laughs> won something. You should listen to this from the beginning. You did a great job. Okay, so Melanie Gorby, you won something. Okay, there you go. That's okay. This is Denim and Patriot. I mean, no, that's not. This is Denim and Patriot. It would be stupid. This is Denim and Flamingo. This is Denim, mostly some Flamingo. Added a little bit more Flamingo. Got it a little bit more purpley, and then I added Cloud to make it really light and beautiful. So you can get any kind of shades. Just play with the denim and flamingo for your purple until you get the color you want and if you want it lighter add some cloud so i'm going to put some over here look at that pretty color purple we got and if you want darker just don't add the cloud but there better be some hearts flying for all you people who've been complaining about purples you can get purple and when are you starting production on patriot well uh, we already have Okay, so I'll put it on the I'll put it on the website this weekend. So as of Monday, you can start ordering Patriot as a limited edition color, and there better be six thousand thank you hearts for that. So yay! So Patriot will be back. What do we want to say for the next three months? Wait, what is it? June, July, and August. You can get Patriot, and then if you want it after that, we'll just keep making Patriot. So because we live to serve. Okay, so there's our purple. I live. And I'm sorry, not making you uncomfortable. He's very close to I'm me. Sorry. Isn't that fabulous? Yes. That fell off something. We don't know what. 
So, we're doing a dresser makeover today, but Lindsay was kind enough that she's already painted and stain topped our dresser. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do on that, but we're gonna start with the basics of painting right here for the people that are new and just joined us. First thing is, you prep it. I already prepped this side. See, you can tell, because the scratches aren't as deep, and so we're gonna prep over here. This is why we prep. Are you doing this That is the prep. He keeps hitting me in the back of the head with this. I'm sorry. He's yeah, he's that way today. This is a prep. First step in cleaning. You don't want to use this unless you're going to paint something. You know, you don't want to just use it as a cleaner on your furniture without testing it somewhere first. But that is step number one. I'm going to get a clean rag so you can see how bad it is. So, sprayed it on there. We're going to wipe it off. Don't y'all wish you had this little piece of fabulousness that dropped off something? You can already tell it's working because the prep just on the piece is already brown. Yeah. This is why we prep. Prep is fabulous. Just painted the front door denim. Mayhem. Oh, paint, paint awesome. Tree. Didn't we just make ours denim? Yes, we did. Denim <laughs> with a little bit of cotton in it, so it was uh, like more like a hydrangea blue for your wedding. So, painted that blue. All right, so that's why you prep. Step one. Step two, paint it. And I don't have any good brushes with me. You shouldn't use these brushes to paint, but I'm going to, because it's all I got in here. You need me to get you a good brush? No, by the time you go get me a good brush, I'll really use this. And... By the time you've got it right, we'll live <gasps> Jurassic Park quote, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> everything. You remember those old posters that say everything I used to need to know I learned in kindergarten? I might, that's my theory with Jurassic Park. Everything I need to know I learned in Jurassic Park. <laughs> so, first coat. I did not what? Huh? Oh, I did not. I did not have time to print that. I did not. You're right. I will do it next week. Jill's chastising me from the corner. She has good reason, huh? You're all kinds of things wrong. Okay, I'm still using that first little blob that I squirted on there because you don't want your first coat to be thick. You want it to be thin. So, trying to make sure that I don't have any thick spots. You need to get this side of those bumpy parts. Yeah. Did I get it? Yeah. yeah. And this piece is so cool. We're going to do something with it for Katie's wedding. I don't know what. done see that one squirt is gonna end up doing pretty much the whole piece for me sorry I'll keep it full I'm getting clattering okay so it looks like a tiara. maybe Katie can wear it she's already got something fabulous for, for a her wrestling hand. belt for her hand a wrestling belt I'm awesome. sure nobody else looked at this and saw a wrestling belt a wrestling belt, a wrestling belt. Yeah. All right. Jean did. said a thin first coat is the key to fabulous. Melanie is right. The thin first coat is a key to fabulousness. It's a little bit thick right in the, here. Like underneath the bumpy. There you go. Did I get it? Yeah. Okay. Right in here is still a little too thick for your first coat. So you want to make sure that there is not a thick first coat on there. So Tom, will you put this in front of the fan while we play with the dresser? I want to play. Well, you can come back and play. Just stick that in front of the fan. You always say that. All right, got our first coat on now. And cotton is the color we used on that. Now we're gonna play around with this dresser and we're gonna do a couple things over here. The first is we're gonna play with metallics. Here's our metallics. And we're gonna add, some of you do some awesome things with metallics. Some of you probably don't even know we carry metallics. So we're going to put metallics on the edge of this, around the edge and on the drawers. So this is the piece we were, we're working on. It is driftwood. Pat has a suggestion for that little piece. Do what? Who has a suggestion? Patty said to put a picture of Katie and Nick in the middle part and then pop it up. Oh, how cute would that be? Put the picture in it? Yes, that would be idea. so cute. Suggestion was put a picture of Katie and Nick in the middle and pop it up. That'd be so cute. Driftwood. And then this is two coats of the weathered gray stain top. And you can still see some of the wood grain through, but it's a really, really cool look on top. Will you please bring me, Tom, a tough top a yes, satin yes. tough top yes. okay and we're just going to take a little brush there's a question hopefully. yeah there's a question you, oh sorry oh, go ahead <laughs> can you prep and paint on a piece that has chalk paint and wax not the wax you got to get the wax off first nothing will adhere to the wax it's a petroleum based product you got to get that off first sometimes if it's been waxed a long time ago or if it's not a heavy wax job the prep will take it off sometimes you got to sand and be more aggressive so here's a little section right here Hopefully you can. With the, lights. It's kinda... uh, the one time that he's not and we need him, uh -huh. right? <laughs> Let me see if you can see it better on a drawer. 
There you can see it better, right? Yeah. Can you see just a little bit of shine that it adds? So on this drawer, we'll go around the edge. We'll go around here. Can you use stain top over raw wood, or do you need to seal it first? You can use stain top over raw wood. You do not have to seal it first. That's just an extra step. It might soak in a little bit, but that's not a big deal. Just go back and put another coat on. I'm doing that right now with um, the little arch thing that Katie's standing under when she gets married that's in our yard. And it's turning out beautifully. I put the stain top on first. Now I'm going to paint over it because I want to be able to sand through and get a barn door look. But thank you. Why is everything in this wedding about Katie, 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 Katie? <laughs> well, how She's many like... coats of flat top over midnight on a buffet? None. Okay, explain, Tom. How many coats of flat top over midnight on a buffet? Why midnight nine, Tom? It has a sheen to it It's um, that looks really nice. If you put flat top over it, it's going to take the sheen away. You may like that look. That's fine. But we recommend on dark colors yeah, you can using see satin it because it's too. the same sheen as the paint. I can come back with driftwood. And so it won't look dull. It's sometimes over dark colors, if you use flat top, um, because it takes all the sheen away, if people think that it makes it look dull. So um, just try it. If you like it, perfect. If you put it on and you don't like it, then Don't I call us. Huh, <laughs> just kidding. I see just if you kidding. put satin on right over it and, it's, and it brings it right back to the same sheen, to the sheen you want. All right, now real quick. Is the metallic a paint or a powder? That's a very good question. It's a paint. And a little dab will do you. It goes a long way. Let me grab, while you're still focusing on this case, let me grab the pearl and we'll put the pearl on so you can see the difference. But silver looks pretty on that. Yeah, it does. Okay, good, nice and subtle. And Katie noticed that I had gotten some on the drawer front that I should have gotten on the drawer front, all I gotta do is go back in with the driftwood and paint over it. Question? Where do I buy tough top then? Because my place doesn't have it, I just want it protected. Uh, you can purchase online if you're if a store near you does not have it. And give us the name of that store so we can call them Fuss Adam. Just kidding. Ooh, I like the pearl. I love the pearl. Well, a store can order it for you. Yeah, they can order it too. All right, see how pretty the pearl is? So what do we like better, pearl or silver? On this piece, I like silver better. I was asking them. Oh. I'm just kidding. Do you really like silver better? On this one, yeah. Really? Okay. Do you like the pearl better? I think so, but we're going to have to stand back. We'll have to stand back and look at it. So what does everybody else think, pearl or silver? They're not chiming in yet. They're not chiming in yet? Well, I think they're always a little bit like... Behind? Yeah. Napping? Not really paying attention? Don't really care? Okay, we're gonna stand back just one second. We'll look at both drawers and see which one we like better. But very, very easy to apply. You can also apply to the hardware if we want it to look a little more in line with what we're doing. Oh, we have three silvers, a pearl, another silver, another pearl. I think silver's right. winning. Okay, so you think silver's winning because you like silver. All right, stand back and show both drawers and let's see. Now, you got to imagine fabulous application that I might not have done that. Why is here? Yeah, you missed the pearl in the center part there. Where? Oh, I did? Right here. Because I'm blind. Right here? Yeah, yeah but on the, pearl on, it, like on the top part yeah. too. Well, y'all are so picky. How's that? Is that better? It's a spot. Is that better? <laughs> you missed a spot. Where? Right there. I can't see it. There you go. All right, did I get it now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so show the pearl and then show the silver and we'll see what people like better. And how does the paint work on countertops? No. The metallics, not. Um, actually, none of it. Go ahead, Tom. That's your area of expertise. Um, countertops uh, work great on um, okay, so cabinets, obviously, and other things. Countertops are generally higher use than you want to use this paint on. Uh, they make but they make products that can do that. So, but like if you're doing this, this buffet would have had a formica top on it. You can paint formica, but you don't want to be cutting and doing meat and things like that on it. It's just not made for that type of thing. Silver one. Silver wins. Well, because this was a little in your face. I'll agree. Silver one. I'm um, sorry, Laura. Do you need to put prep on the hardware before How's that? Metallics? Is that better? No. For, now do we vote for pearl a little bit more? I still vote for silver. You that made it to, better, right? It did. You don't have to prep metal. Okay, before we put our tough top on, 
we're gonna do handles. The handles on this were hideous and half missing. So I'm gonna sit down. I'll probably end the video sitting down because I'll never get up on the video. You want All a right. little, you want a stool or something? No, I'm already down now. All right. We're gonna do ribbon pulls. The secret to the ribbon pulls is get a big long piece, tape on one end, and then most people are gonna pull it through, tie it, cut it. You don't wanna do that. You wanna put it through and put it through this side. And you could use white on here if you were doing the pearl. You could, use, you could use anything you want. Pull it all the way through to the very end so you don't have to keep taping. So you're through to about here, then you're gonna do a square knot, right over left, left over right, because that's what lays the prettiest. So right over left, left over right. Pull it tight. Well, that didn't lay pretty, did it? There we go. And then cut it. General rule is, see if I was doing this without y'all watching, I would go get additional ribbon because I like it to be fat enough to kind of fill the hole. I don't like seeing the hole there. But then you cut it right past the hole. If you cut it much longer, it flops around and looks weird. But now I have a piece where I can. It's already taped, so I can put it back in. What would you put on top of the buffet after painting for protection? Tough top, we're gonna do that in just a second. You're supposed to be wildly interested in the uh, ribbon that we're doing right now, but what's the what, the satin tough top? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, satin tough top. Okay, pulling it all the way through again. And yeah, I should, I'm not gonna do it on all the drawers because I don't like the color and I should have used thicker no, ribbon. I like the color. Well, are you it taking this home with the you? Top. I don't know. Okay, if you are, then we'll leave it. If you're not, <laughs> I'm gonna switch it. All right. And that's the gist of doing, and the ribbon pulls are so easy and can totally make a piece look completely different based on what you use. Okay, Tom, I need... Nope. No, a paintbrush to do... That's much better light, thank you. The Sorry, tough top. Because I'm going to put tough top on real quick because sometimes people have a problem with tough top. I'm showing them how easy it is. Do you want me to help you get up? Uh, no, I just need a paintbrush. Okay. And you know what? I'll just pour it on and use one of the big fat paintbrushes. Katie, just avert everyone's eyes so that I can get I'm up. focusing on the dresser plus okay, the perfect. ribbon parts you've done. Ta-da! Ah! I'm up. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> all right. I really don't. You told her not to film you. I don't think she's like you on here right. for five minutes. That's great. Well, you told me not to. If I use one of these, the brush, the, the oh, things are going to drop off, but just pretend they're not. I'm going to use this, don't you use this. You only just go get a real brush? Well, by the time you get back with a real brush, I'll have it on. Well, yeah, like but, Katie says, right? It'll look bad. No, it won't look bad. Sweetie, this is for all your people. All you right, go get it. No, I really don't have a real brush in here. There, there, right there. That's Where? one right there. Where? She's pulled it out. That's a big, huge. There's a the little one next to it. That's the that's one, a inch one inch. One. Yeah, that. I have nothing real. Oh, so you no. don't want a big fat one? You want a two and a half? Yeah. Yeah. Why would I want a big fat one? And while you do that, I'll give me the tray, and I'll do the one. tray, and I'll put a second coat on it. Throw everything in the hallway into me. He's gonna get me a real paintbrush. While he does that, we're gonna do. See, it's dry where I put it the right, when I got it too thick, not so much. Did you just scratch that? I think it's a tie between the pearl. Yeah, show them. Oh, you did that. Well, that's the silver. We're doing silver trays for Katie's thing too, but we're doing, um, but we're doing, uh, we're painting them. Can I use a foam brush to apply then spread the tough top? Foam brushes get wet and then they have that little twig i mean that little stick in them and they end up scraping your piece and i wouldn't use a foam brush there are probably thousands of you now that are going to respond to that woman who asked the question and say sure you can it always works for me but i just don't like the fact that after a while gonna look because i had one stuck somewhere after yeah after a while the stick the the little foam thing that's in here see that thing that starts scraping your furniture. So it's just not the best plan. Look, I just sacrificed a foam brush for Thursdays at three. You're all about sacrifice, Mom. I am all about others. Sass face. <laughs> <clears throat> this is gonna be fabulous. And I think that's a cute idea with the picture. That could be really cool. Then when it's over, we'll just put a picture of dad in it and put it somewhere like a little homage to your father. Homage or homage? Well, I thought it was homage, but... I always said homage. Uh-huh. Well, somebody, somebody tells how to say it. That's funny, because they'll type it, and we won't hear them say <laughs> it, and then we won't... They won't help any at all. Okay. 
that should do some self-leveling and we're distressing Katie you want to can you put that in front of the fan or not we'll wait for dad to get back the fans behind the door and everything okay this is cotton I'm gonna put one last coat on here of cotton um Tom was just in here scraping around on it and I wish I had not put another coat on so you can see him scraping on it because it actually sticks that's gonna be really cute and it's a three inch you got me the exact brush I have that I don't want well we didn't have it two and a half we have three cases of brushes out there. I'll use this. I will adapt. I will use this. Yes, we do. Did you look with the brushes? Over where the Tom clock and everything is? Okay. The problem with this brush is this. Pour it on top. Pour it on top? All right, I'm going to do it Tom's way. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it Tom's way. Whenever we do things my way, it always turns out better. Actually, I'm not. I got it in. So first thing you want to do is just get it all over. Don't worry about the bubbles. Don't worry about if it's even. We're just applying it so that it's all over the top of the dresser. Um, yes. Hi, I just discovered your product. So I'm sorry if you've answered this question a thousand times. Do you have a dedicated top brush and a separate paint brush or after washing, can you use the same brush? You can use the same brush. I don't, I don't usually ever clean brushes. Like and I'll answer questions a thousand times. Welcome, we're so excited to have you. And I'll answer as many questions as I need to. Let me answer that one just one second because I don't want this to dry or set up. So I put it everywhere. It's a mess, correct? Yes. <laughs> now we're gonna go side to side. Side. Give it to her. She's already got it done. <clears throat> side. Here's a two -way All the way. Two it's dripping there, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. We're just evening it out. You want to have enough on here that it will self love. That's a good light, Kate. Now yeah. you come back. Get the little drips you had on the side, across the front, down the side here. How thick should the paint be? A lot of mine is real thick. How much water do you use to thin it? Okay, let me go back to the question about paint brushes. In a perfect world, because we don't use expensive brushes, if you're buying from one of our retailers or ordering from us, we don't have like the $36 brushes or whatever. In a perfect world, you'd have a paint one and then a sealer one, because sometimes it's hard to get all of the paint out of a brush completely so i'd have a paint one and a sealer one what we have is inexpensive brushes so i'll use them for a while and then throw them away so um that's going to set up and be beautiful so that's the, and then, then the second question was how thick should your paint be how thick should the paint be a lot of mine is real thick and how much water do you use to thin it not that's kind of personal preference how thick you want it to be i love it when it's thick but there are a lot of people that don't so if I'm opening this brand new, after I have shooken it, the paint is, these are great questions, about that thick. If you want it thinner, add water, just add a little bit at a time till it makes you happy. Realizing that the more water you add, the less coverage you'll have. So if you can be happy with a little bit thicker and spread it out, be happy with a little bit thicker. So that's about how it comes and then you can add water if you want it to be thinner. And a lot of times for a sprayer, if you're running it through a sprayer, you do have to add water. Any other questions? What are the colors used on the cabinet behind you that looks rustic? Mm -hmm. The, this, this part? I assume so. Oh yeah, that's right, they're not saying anything, are they? <laughs> this is dark walnut stain top. It's dirty because we've had it for like two years. And then you can see like in areas like this, I just dry brushed some linen over it. This was raw wood, it's painted putty. And then I did some streaks of midnight and um, linen. And it's just a matter of very little paint on your brush, just rub it across it. But it's way cool. Look. Isn't that fabulous? And did you see how cool this is for a barn door kind of thing? I should have taken the stickers off, but this is just a big long pole and eye hooks. So much cheaper than all the apparatus for, like if you're doing a cabinet one, like a TV console one, if you're doing a big door, you need something else. But for something like this, that is so much less expensive and a way cool trick. There should be hearts. Thank you, Laura. You're wonderful. All that going across. We see all that? Thank you, Laura. You're wonderful. You just made that it up. It always takes a minute, so. A demonstration on how to do that for a Thursday break. A demonstration on how to do this? Yeah. Oh, see, now you're getting your hearts. Okay, great. Well, seriously, if that's what, if you want to see that, tell me you want to see it, and we'll do, we can demo that, no problem. We can do that. We can turn, because this was just, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, <laughs> this was just raw wood, so I can't really take it off and show you. But it was just plain, just plain wood. We just, it was just yeah, built with the planks and, and top and bottom. It was the same as this. See this? Where the uh, the floor down there? This. It was the same as that. 
So if you want to see that, tell me that you want to see that and we'll do it. Um, that's not going to be dry enough. I'll distress it and show my picture later. And speaking of showing you what we did, remember last week we talked about the geranium tray? Yeah, you've had a lot of people say they want to see it. So. Okay, great. That's what we'll do next week. Um, geranium tray all finished. I mean, not geranium, um, hydrangea tray all finished. So ready for Katie's wedding. And it's just one of those wood things from, oh, somebody asked the other day, answer that question. Is, is Tough Top, if you're making a tray like this, food safe? Not that you can run it through the dishwasher, but could I put a cheese, piece of cheese on here and then Katie could eat it and she wouldn't die? You wouldn't die. You will glow a gentle <laughs> shade of orange Not. for approximately two Not. hours. Is it? Okay. No, it's absolutely, absolutely food safe. Absolutely food safe. So if you're doing something for, don't do something where you're going to smear a bunch of stuff into it and have to scrub it you know but if you know this is what we use on the top of tables so that'll give you an idea you can use it on your kitchen table and oh duh i didn't even think of that or could i answer the question <laughs> whoever <laughs> asked that question that was a stupid question i can't believe i didn't think of that you just don't well some people might but you just don't kids do kids fill the food right on the table yeah when i was younger i did with my kids okay so show a picture right there of how that's kind of self-leveling and it's going to dry and be absolutely fabulous and I put not a super thick coat, but a generous coat on so that it would self-level. <clears throat> Can you see that all the bubbles went away? And remember how it looked weird when I put it on at first, but we went back and forth with just a regular brush and it looks fine. Mm -hmm. So the tough top's not, not tricky to use. I think the problem most people have with tough top is they stress. Don't stress. It's fabulous. Easy to use. And they brush it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Checking for a boob crack sometimes. Sometimes I do that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. If there's not any more questions, we are done. Oh, there are. Okay. What? Bring it on. Oh, I've got to find the first one. Will you tell us again where you get the bottles for the paint? No, I've told people over and over. Yes, I will. <laughs> these little squeezy bottles. I yeah. love these. They are from Websterant Store. Websterant Store. All one word. Dot com. They are called FIFO bottles. F I F O, which means first in, first out. Because usually they use them in a restaurant, and you fill them here. I've and squirt it, it out here. <laughs> you are just being a turd. <laughs> so put it in here and then squeeze it out there. Put it in here. So whatever goes in first comes out first so that you don't, you know, it doesn't get icky. So, um. and they have this size or if it's a color you're not using as often, they have that size. Actually, they have probably a bunch of other sizes too. So, yes. And only one coat of Tough Top is needed. I used to tell people when Tom got all mad at me, if you're doing your dining room table, put like one coat of Tough Top per child. <laughs> but really, you think two coats is plenty? Two coats is plenty. If you do them on dresser like that, one is probably enough. One's That's probably kitchen enough. Table, kitchen table, three. two. Maybe three. But make sure you let it dry in between. And make sure that the surface is dry. That's the other problem people have. Like we've had a couple people say, my kitchen table's peeling or, or chipping or whatever. First of all, make sure you prep. That's essential when you're doing this. Second, and prep with a green scrubby pad. Second of all, make sure that that first coat is thin. Was it Melanie Jean that said yes? Yes. It, Melanie. Yes. Yeah, Melanie, Melanie said yeah, yeah, yeah. She oh, understands. Yes. Uh huh. So make that first coat thin second coat goes on over that make sure that's really dry before you put if you're in a humid place like this room today or um <laughs> something like that let it dry for a little bit longer and then doesn't really take a lot of people on the q a page are saying give it 30 days to cure that's no. perfect and you can but it's not essential um just be gentle with it for the first little bit if you're doing a dining room table and your plan is to jump up on there in your tap shoes and install your stripper pole wait the full 30 days if not you can use it it's not a problem so is the tough top what gives a piece the sheen tough top will give it it's a satin finish it will give it a little bit of a satin sheen um the flat top doesn't but again the flat top's not as good over dark colors because people think it looks cloudy or you know that you you don't expect but, it to cut that shine like it does yes but you might show like on this one uh -huh. show how it has sheen on it to begin with it has just a little bit of sheen. the paint itself if don't show the where the metallic the second are. and the third cat drawer there's yeah, just a it, tiny bit, I'd say maybe our paint is like eggshell. It's yeah. not completely matte and flat. But the satin tough top does add a sheen, and as you apply more coats, you can get it shinier. If you want something shinier, put a few more coats on and it will get shiny. Um, I want to redo my kitchen table, what would I need? Prep, a green scrubby pad, prep away, prep. You just need one prep. And then kitchen table, depends on what you're doing. Stain top, one stain top will do the top of it if that's what you're doing. Um, and a pint would do the base of it if that's what you're doing on the base. If you're doing the whole thing, you probably still just need a pint of the paint, right? To do a kitchen table. Now chairs, if you're adding chairs in, you probably need a little bit more. And then the tough top to seal the top. 
And sorry, already forgot the name of the site to get the bottles. <laughs> Websterontstore.com. Websterant Store. That's the name of the place. Also and they're really cheap there. Michelle Lupton. Or oh, did she put Lupton. a link? I assume it's Lupton because I just yes. Michelle. Uh -huh. Yes. She put the website. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? We good? Woohoo! Thank you so much for joining us. Um, look at how fabulous my necklace is. Do Don't zoom showing? in on my chins. Just what, my necklace. What, what are you showing? My necklace. Oh, your necklace. Yes, isn't it way cute? Yeah, okay. So just had to say that. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Um, next week we'll plan on making the barn door um, slider doohickey things from raw wood and making them look like that. So that's what we'll do for next week. Make sure you join us and happy rethunking.